Welcome to Boop. As our name suggests, our mainframe connects to and powers virtually every server on the globe. Without Boop, there is no internet. Hey, Parker. Are we still on for the Samsung Galaxy Note meeting after lunch? Yep. Are, are the test results in? Yeah, but let's save it for the meeting. Where's your nearest bathroom? Gender fluid? Yes, there will be a lot of that. Hmm. Must be one of them high-tech Japanese toilets. I'm gonna pee into electric urino and make the sparks go higher. I'm having so much fun. What the hell is going on? Our mainframe is having a meltdown! Hang on, let me flush. You idiot! You shut down the entire internet! How could you do that? This is the most irresponsible thing that Although I was incensed by this man, I had to admire his courage for leaving his penis out the entire time I was yelling at him. As a man who struggles with body dysmorphia, I couldn't help but be impressed by that kind of self-confidence. As I stood there being berated by this man, I couldn't help but notice his searching gaze. Years later, we would bump into each other at a small cafe in Rome and reminisce about this moment. And later still, recreate it in a small bed and breakfast at the bottom of the Spanish steps. But that's a story for another time. Or, as they say in Italian, molto homo. Peter, you've done some stupid things, but crashing the internet has to be the dumbest yet. Look at the chaos you've caused. I have no idea how to drive without texting! Why can't I post this video? Hello. What did you say? Why aren't you looking at your phone, you psycho? Why is no one liking my posts? Well, I hate all your posts. Hello. Ah! <laughs> Hello. Peter, Lois is right. This mess is all your fault. Settle down, Brian. I'm sure life will be just fine without the internet. Maybe we can even go see that Amish comedian. How are we gonna get back to the airport? There's no internet, which means there's no GPS, which means we can't use Uber. Okay, I have a crazy idea. Let's get a cab. There's a taxi stand. Dead. 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 Barely alive! To the airport! Now, because you can't stare at your phone anymore, enjoy a disturbingly loud clip of Jimmy Fallon on Cab TV. Did I get ready to lose all respect for Al Pacino when I force him to play a game meant for children? This, this is why Uber. No Netflix, no Hulu, no Amazon. I'm so bored. Come on, Meg, you're overreacting. We still got network TV. We now return to Kevin Can Wait on CBS. Well, that's not gonna work. Okay, everybody, don't panic. We'll just do what people did before the internet. We can play charades. Oh, you mean like your marriage? Chris, I told you that in confidence. Dad, you gotta do something. Nobody can live without the internet. Ah, oh, you're right. This sucks. It's even worse than when I was roommates with Oscar Pistorius. Somebody's in here. Somebody's in here. I'm the one who screwed this up. I'll be the one to fix it. I'll be the internet. What are you talking about? We can do all the things we loved about the internet. We just gotta do it without technology. From now on, if you wanna tweet something, you do it the old-fashioned way. Write it on a piece of paper, staple it to a bird, and throw it out the door. Hey, do you follow Peter Griffin on Twitter? No. Why? Is he funny? No, he just throws dead birds on his lawn. It's awesome. <laughs> Great news, Chris. I figured out how to recreate the best part of the internet. I've got pictures of five celebrities who you'd never believe used to be fat. Great, let's see them. Sure, buddy. But first, you have to watch this unwelcome pop-up ad. I don't want probiotics. Then press the skip ad button. Why should I do all this work? They're really good pictures, Chris. Number three will shock you. Okay, I'll press it. Oh, no, you pressed in the wrong place, and now you're being sent to the ad's website, which also has additional pop-ups. This is a nightmare. Just tell me one of them. Kenan Thompson. That's not a surprise. Giggity, giggity. Giggity, goo. Stick around.